So Saul took the kingdom over Israel and fought against all his enemies on every side and, and delivered Israel out of the hands of them that spoiled them. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake and came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass that he looked on David and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel. When Saul and all Israel were dismayed and greatly afraid. And the sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And David was the youngest. Then said Saul unto the people that were with him, Number now, and see who is gone from us. And when they had numbered, behold, Jonathan the son of Saul, then and his armor-bearer were not there. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go. But David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David, and when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And David brought Jonathan to Jerusalem. And Saul took him that day, and would let him go no more home to his father's house. And it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him, and gave it to David. And David went out whithersoever Saul sent him, and behaved himself wisely. And Saul set him over the men of war, and he was accepted in the sight of all the people, and also in the sight of Saul's servants. Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee. The Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and hath given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Saul was very wroth, and he said, What can he have more but the kingdom? Michael, Saul's daughter, loved David. And they told Saul, and Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David. And Saul was yet the more afraid of David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan spake good of David unto Saul his father, and said unto him, Let not the king sin against his servant. And Saul hearkened unto the voice of Jonathan. And Jonathan brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as in times past. And the evil spirit from the Lord was upon Saul, as he sat in his house with his javelin in his hand. And David played with his hand. And David came and said before Jonathan, Thy father certainly knoweth that I have found grace in thine eyes. But truly, as the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, there is but a step between me and death. Then said Jonathan unto David, Whatsoever thy soul desireth, I will even do it for thee. And Jonathan caused David to swear again, for he loved him as he loved his own soul. Then Saul's anger was kindled against Jonathan, and he said unto him, Do not I know that thou hast chosen the son of Jesse to thine own confusion? For as long as the son of Jesse liveth upon the ground, thou shalt not be established, nor thy kingdom. Wherefore now send and fetch him unto me, for he shall surely die. And Jonathan answered Saul his father, and said unto him, Wherefore shall he be slain? What hath he done? And Saul cast a javelin at him to smite him, whereby Jonathan knew that it was determined of his father to slay David. So Jonathan arose from the table in fierce anger, and David arose out of a place toward the south. And they kissed one another, and wept one with another. And 
David was in the wilderness of Ziph. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David and strengthened his hand in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel, and I shall be next unto thee. And they too made a covenant before the Lord. And the Philistines followed hard upon Saul and upon his sons. And many of the people also are fallen and dead, and Saul and Jonathan his son are dead also. And David lamented with this lamentation, O oh, Jonathan, very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. And David lamented because of the Lord's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. 